All right, so let's go ahead and prove the following trig identities. Start through one through four. So first off, we want to make the left look like the right. So first thing we can do is convert these into their basic components. C so gets one over the cosine of x minus, and then tangent, oh, excuse me. So tangent can be converted into sine of x over cosine of x. And then we have sine of x on the bottom or on top here. So this can be converted to one minus sine squared of x over cosine of x. And if you notice here, this is a trig identity. It's equal to it's the same thing as cosine squared of x over cosine of x. So we can cancel out one of these and we just get cosine of x. And what happens here with cosine of x, you can actually write cosine of x as the same thing. Um, sorry, it's a little messy here. One over one over cosine of x. And the reason you do that is because you can convert that into one of sine of x. And that convert, or excuse me, secant. Okay, um, well, what we'll do here is convert the left to look like the right. So one over sine of x plus cosine of x over sine of x. This is actually really easy. So this converts to cosecant of x, and this is the same thing as uh, oops, cotangent of x. Alrighty, so next up here, what we'll do is on the bottom here, this is the same thing as uh, sine of theta over cosine of theta plus cosine of theta over sine of theta. So we can, cr we can do, we can I cross multiply, but we can do cosine of theta sine of theta on the bottom, so we end up with sine squared theta over sine theta cosine theta. I'm just working with a denominator right now, plus cosine squared theta sine theta cosine theta. And because they have the same denominator, we can combine them now. And this is our trig identity. It's equal to 1, so we get 1 over sine theta cosine theta and what that means is we have we can um reciprocate that so essentially what we're going to end up with here is secant of theta so it's going to be one over cosine of theta times sine of theta times um because reciprocate it, it's going to be sine theta cosine theta cosine theta is cancel out and we're left with sine squared theta and that's the answer for that one yes yeah, if you're not watching this video it's probably pretty hard to see if you're just looking at it on a on a pdf okay so next up what we'll do here is we'll convert this so we'll get secant of theta so we're going to get um we'll convert all this stuff so we'll have one So we can actually rewrite this as 1 over, this will be cosine squared theta on the bottom. It's the same thing, minus, oops, sine theta, cosine theta, all over cotangent. It's going to be cosine theta over sine theta. And what we can do is reciprocate this. So this is the same thing as multiplying this by sine of theta over cosine of theta. So we get one over cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta over cosine squared theta. And this can be converted to cosine squared theta over the common denominator, which is cosine squared theta. And we end up with one. And that's it, that proves our trig identity. All right, cool. So we finished this problem, these problems up. I hope this helped you out and I appreciate you watching and I will see you next time.